We're here with our friend Bill Murray and his musical partner. We are joined now by Bill Murray's musical partner, German cellist Jan Vogler. <laughs> Bill Coleman, Herr Vogler. Thank you, sir. Before we begin, would you like a drink? Sure. Okay, a little. Would you like a, would you like a, a little rum? Sure. Yeah. Great. A little slice of orange in there. Now, uh, 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 Jan, tell me how you and Bill Murray me? came to produce. Sure, we can get you those glasses. <laughs> Let me just get let me just get Jan going yeah, here before we off your there you go. That's mm -hmm. good. Just a splash. Right. Just a whisper. Yeah, okay. So how did it come about, Jan, that you and uh, Bill Murray now have created a album uh, called uh, Bill Murray, Jan Vogler and Friends, New Worlds, which is the number one classical album, top of the charts right now. Yeah. Well, it's, how did yeah. this come about? We met in an airport at, in Berlin, in my hometown. I was flying to New York and um, came from a tour. And Bill also had worked for Monuments Men. And we met at the airport. And Bill was slightly surprised I was carrying this big box, this cello, through security. Mm -hmm. He was worried about me. He's worried about people. So I think he was worried that I wouldn't have space in the, on the airplane. And when we came to the plane, uh, the window was sitting on the window seat, um, in the window seat, and I was sitting on the aisle, and across the aisle, Bill was sitting. So we kept talking. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of uh, nice talk on the plane and became friends. And after about two years, we suddenly had this idea of collaboration that happened to, during a wonderful event here in New York. It's called the Poetry Walk. It's across the Brooklyn Bridge, and you meet at the Brooklyn Bridge, and you hear Walt Whitman poetry. And you walk together, and you hear again poems, and I heard Bill reciting a poem, and I thought this was so beautiful and so touching. Then I just had some inspiration. And what was the poem, Bill? I did, about, I did a handful of them, but there was one in particular, Walt Whitman, a song for the open road that, that struck Jan, and it's a beautiful thing. And it's a, it's, a, it's a nice event, and the Poets' House puts it on. But... <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, it's been uh, fun. He's a... Uh, <laughs> it's been uh, it's been a lot of fun making this music. We have a lot of fun doing it. The the poetry part of it is is part of the show that we do. It's part of the record too. Uh, and uh, Jan said, "How about if we do some stuff?" And his his father uh, made him read American literature as a child. So he he <laughs> I came to his house and he's got a whole stack of books and it's. Ernest Hemingway and Truman Capote and Mark Twain and a handful more and thinking, what if we did some of these? You know, I'm like, well, okay, good. And, but he's, uh, he's got a great mind, Jan, and uh, he's a ridiculous cellist. You'll hear him play in a minute, but... Uh, so are you, are, you, are you singing on this album? Are you reciting poetry on I'm, this album? It's, I'm doing both, and I'm yeah. reading, reading. Reading and writing and arithmetic. I read and I sing some <laughs> songs and poems. Now, and we've well, been doing live shows, too. We go out. Where did you record this? In, in, in Berlin or in the in United New States? In, in New York, York. okay. At the, at the Baryshnikov Center on 37th Street. And you guys perform uh, a Monday night, starting Monday night, or Monday night? We've done about a dozen shows. We've done a half a dozen in Germany. We've... At Carnegie Hall, though. When do you guys open at Carnegie Hall? Well, on Monday. 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 <laughs> <laughs> on Monday, okay. Now, yeah. did you know anything about Jan Vogler before you met him on that plane? No, and he didn't know who I was either. You didn't know who Bill Murray was? <clears throat> well, he had an aura, and I knew that, that he was a famous person, but at this point, I was very tired at the airport. You are sometimes in your bubble. <laughs> you don't... But what about now? Have you gone back to see, like, Caddyshack? Yes, and I've seen... I've seen... On the, on the flight, it was actually so much fun because I asked Bill, I said, is there any of your movies um, on the program? And he was quicker. He was like, T -t 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 yes, this one. <laughs> what was so, on the program? What was Stripes. It? Stripes. Yeah, That's so a good I, one. I watched it right there. Yeah. yeah, I got my ass kicked in Wisconsin. Yeah. yeah. So I watched it right there. It was kind of a fun experience. We were sitting next to each other and I was watching the film and he was reading. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. Yeah. It was funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's first class. That's first class. Your cello, Bill Murray, 
And, uh, and, and Jan Vogler, first class. Was anybody noticing the, the, the three of you? You, because you're quite imposing with your cello in the seat next to you, and Bill Murray. Did you get any attention from the other people on the plane? Well, I got a very nice email the other day that uh, a man who sat apparently in front of us and overheard our conversations followed what happened now, and he's fl flying from Germany to Carnegie Hall to hear the Carnegie Hall show on Monday. It's very nice. Wow. Wow. Nice. Well, cheers. Cheers. cheers, Bill. Congratulations. Congratulations cheers. on the album. It is called New Worlds. They are exploring new worlds. They'll be at Carnegie Hall on Monday. They're performing with us here later tonight. Bill Murray, you want to say something? Can we, we welcome this guy to the United States of America? Would you like to shoot a teacher? <laughs> <laughs> Doing this again. Let's try it again. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. Bill Murray and Jan Vogler, everybody. We'll be right back.